that shows you that when we make the move, they will accept us. You know, when you go to Nigeria, one of the things they tell you is that, why are you guys not coming over? Why are you guys not making this move? You know? Mm. And you blame us for not playing your music. Mm. You get me? So, the is there, we just have to walk in. But I think, so this, this is it. I mean, you know, in business, it's always about relationship. It's always about connections, you know? I mean, if I'm to say, I want to pay everybody in Nigeria for the things they're going to do or they do for me, Trust me, I don't have that funds. I don't have that dividend money mm. to be paying everybody. But yeah. there are times that, you know, you, you avail yourself for uh, butter, you avail yourself for all, all sorts of you know, conversations to, uh, you know, elevate whatever you want to do. I mean, we went into Nigeria. Shout out to Pato Rankin. It was very welcoming. I mean, we spent time, you know, yeah. in his house, in the studio, eating in his house and all these things. And... <laughs> DJ Paco Rich. Hello guys, welcome to the, my channel. My name is DJ Paco Rich. But right in Lagos, a moment I go step there, they call me Mazi. And then my Yoruba people call me Otumba, Otumba, Otumba. Right in the north, uh, Siriki, where they call me, but how we could do them. So today, we are here to have a wonderful conversation. It's just about music, Afrobeat, and the music, the business side of music. I mean, when it comes to Ghana and Nigeria, we have a lot in common. Somebody will say that um, we have two countries in between Ghana and Nigeria, so there is no connection. Now, remember that those two countries, they speak French. We, we they speak English. You are our closest neighbor. So any business where we go do, it be there, we go take up. You understand? And so today, I'm here to speak to the manager of Camido. If you haven't heard of Camido, this is the picture of Camido very 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 good artist he's the artist behind the hit song called sugar king yes at a point a lot of people said eh, camido is a nigerian no he's a Ghanaian. he's been managed by a gentleman called george Britton. he has a very great record when it comes to managing artists he's done keche he's done nilante he's done Aku Nana. the list is very tall and so today i'm here to speak to him about his experience in the Nigerian music industry, trying to get Camido through Nigeria, the success that he's been able to chop. They went as top as number one among the top Nigerian, 100 Nigerian songs. So that should tell you that Chairman Ogo play for there. So he's experienced. So I'm going to speak to him. Years back, he was campaigning that we should play 80% Ghana music, 80% Ghana music. But upon him reaching Nigeria and understanding their system, it looks like he noticed that nobody has stopped Ghana from entering Nigeria. You just have to pull the right knobs, do the right things, and it will definitely work for you. So I'm going to bring him all the way from London, Wembley Stadium. He's connected to the Wembley Stadium now, and we are doing this live from there. George, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, my brother. Yes, we are connected from the Wembley Stadium. Yeah. How's it going back home in Ghana? Yeah, we are good. Nanado says hi. Try and come home very soon. He's missing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell, I, tell, tell Nana. Uh -huh. I mean, tell Nana just as he came to London to upgrade himself. I'm also here to upgrade myself. As I said, we will come great. home. <laughs> that brings a big question. What took you to London? Uh, well, you know, London has been my second, uh, my third home. Mm. <laughs> if uh, reason being that I've been, you know, I've been in and out of London for a very long time, and for this very moment, the reason for coming is to, you know, connect to the industry out here as well as you know, study. I'm doing some uh, marketing studies right here in the UK. Yeah, that's great. And so, please go and learn something that will benefit all of us. Uh, the way you go can't teach all of us. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. The conversation of the day is about um, you know the story on the internet. Nigerians uh -huh. are blocking our waves, and then and then and there are some hackers behind some place manipulating certain systems that our songs are not going through. Have Nigerians stopped Ghanaians from pushing their music into their system? You have done it. You've been there, so you are the best person to tell us the story. What is going on? Well, thank you very much for you know this beautiful question. 
Uh, well, with a little experience I've had, you know, over the years with, with regards to Ghanaian music that you do in Nigerian space, I don't think blocking is a word. Mm. Uh, I don't think there is a, a conscious effort by the Nigerians to stop Ghanaian music from entering into Ghana. Uh, I think I'm yet to experience somebody to say, hey, don't play his music because it's Ghanaian. Uh, so I honestly think just as Ghana is open for all, Nigeria is equally open for all. But what we need to understand is that, <coughs> sorry, if there are 10 artists in Ghana, Nigeria has 100, you know. So the competition is very tough. And you need to devise a strategy to enter into their space, enter into their market. To me, uh, for the past few years I've been going to Nigeria, they've been very welcoming. And I think it's, it's only, it was only right for me to, you know, to say a very thank, a very big thank you to my brothers in Nigeria, and of course, you know, also in Africa. But Nigeria to me has been very welcoming. Sorry, I went off for a while, but I no, no, no I'm on. Yeah, I'm on yeah. Okay. So okay. you went there, you saw, and you conquered. I mean, a lot of people would uh -huh. want to take one or two notes from this conversation. What are some of the yeah. steps that you need to do? I believe that music should be treated as a product. You understand? And it shouldn't very be much, like... Very much, very much, yeah. It, it shouldn't be like that patriotic or African conversation that, yeah, we they play your songs, so you took for play our songs. What are some of the no. steps that you have to take if you have a music, a good music, that you want to push into the Nigerian market? Okay, uh, let, me, let me speak. Let me, you know speak from my point of, you know, experience that again over the years. What I did was, you know, because I'm always online, I find it very easy for me to connect with people, you know, outside my space. Mm -hmm. So I follow a lot of Nigerian celebrities, musicians, you know, gatekeepers and all that. And what I do is every now and then, you know, I'm messaging people every now and then. Uh, when the video posts, I go under the videos post and I see the type of people who are commenting, you know, especially the blue tick ones, I click on their profile and check who they are. If there are someone or some people that I think they, they are in the industry, you know, I reach out to them. And this is how I built my, you know, network in Nigeria. Now, if I pick my phone, I think I have about 150, <laughs> 150 contacts from the Nigerian music space. So that, that should tell you that uh, we've been really working well, you know, getting into the space. Now, First and foremost, it was a conscious effort for us or for me to get into Nigerian space. Reason being that I realized that Nigeria is a hub of music in Africa, just as the New York and the LA's will do for, you know, uh, the American and the rest of the world. So, as anyone trying to do music, if you can't penetrate into Africa, uh, sorry, Nigeria, it will be easier for you to break through. Now, I'm not saying that if you don't go to Nigeria, you will not break through. No, I'm not saying that. Mm. But I'm saying that it, it is much easier to get to the worst when they go through Nigeria, because Nigeria has the most vibrant industry now, as we are talking. So, I can do my song in Ghana, I can blow, yes, some few people can hear it in London, but because the world's attention is on Afrobeat and the world thinks that a chunk of Afrobeat is coming from Nigeria, it makes it easier for people, you know, people to tap into uh, or connect to Nigeria's market. So I think as a musician, if your song can blow up in Nigeria, getting to you know the UK, the US, and the rest of the world is a bit easier. So hence our decision to you know go to Nigeria and do our marketing and you know, find ourselves. So I mean number number one, you know, in the Nigerian market. Now, now let me let me mm. break let me bring this down. Okay, we're listening. Paco, Paco, when we became number one in Nigeria, we were in Ghana. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see you understand we were in Ghana when we became yes we were in Ghana when we became number one in Nigeria so what we did was uh before we got into when we go into number one then we physically got into the space now before we got there before we physically got there yeah uh, what we were doing was to you know contacting contacting our friends you know online uh you know getting the radio stations our pluggers were helping you know getting our songs on TV on, on TV on radio you know, the TikTokers were making, you know, dance videos and Instagram influencers, so Facebook mm. influencers, you know, the Twitter and all these guys, you know, the YouTubers and everybody was, you know, involved. What we were able to do was to engage these people even before we physically got there. Now, when we got there, 
it was a bit easier. It was a, it was a bit beautiful because everybody was welcoming. You know, everybody was yeah. welcoming. Everybody wanted to, you know, to hug the sugar cane boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, yes, you know, years ago I came up with play more Ghanaian song, which is still relevant though. Yeah. But the perception that people have about the Nigerian industry is different when you go in there, and I think most of my colleagues in our space will, attest will testify to that because um recently i've seen kim promise go there yeah. i've seen jackie go there yeah. i've seen kiddy kwame eugene uh olive the boy and all that that shows you that when we make the move they will accept us you know when you go to nigeria one of the things they tell you is that why are you guys not coming over why are you guys not making this move you know Mm. And you blame us for not playing your music. Mm. You get me? So it is there. We just have to walk in. Okay. Now, you kept on saying, let's move to Nigeria. Let's move to Nigeria. Let's move to Nigeria. Do we move to Nigeria with empty pocket? Do we move to Nigeria with empty hands? Do we move to Nigeria with a basket of tomatoes? What do we need actually <laughs> when we are going to Nigeria? Because there is a saying that better soup, namoni kela. Is it about money? Better soup, na money. Better, better soup, na money. Killer, very true. I mean, uh, Paco, even in Ghana, yeah, even in Ghana, yeah. if you have no money, your music will go nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, but I think maybe yeah. some of the artists felt like you have made certain names and all that, so then they don't want to really push money into their project like that especially in ghana you know i'm a dj i've experienced a couple of these days i know you are different you have a way of you know even speaking to people mm -hmm. i've never had an, yeah. an encounter with camido like but i mean i've worked on a couple of projects while like all the way back from xylophone you are always with the, the yeah, people yeah. you are always with the right people and all that sometimes it wouldn't be about money but you can still push it through mm -hmm. when you go to nigeria yeah. Can it be all this conversation and all that, you know, or still you need to put in some money? Uh, Paco, I think, so this, this is it. I mean, you know, in business, it's always about relationship. It's always about connections, you know. I mean, if I'm to say, I want to pay everybody in Nigeria for the things they're going to do or they do for me, trust me, I don't have that funds. I don't have that dividend money mm. to be paying everybody. But yeah. there are times that, you know, you, you avail yourself for, uh, Bata, you avail yourself for all, all sorts of you know, conversations to, uh, you know, elevate whatever you want to do. I mean, we went into Nigeria. Shout out to Pato Rankin. It was very welcoming. I mean, we spent times, you know, yeah. in his house, in the studio, eating in his house and all these things. And not just Pato, Larry Gaga, and some of these guys. The reason being that we were very, very conscious about the things we wanted to do. We wanted yeah. to get into the space, yeah. ask questions. We're able, we're, we're ready to do a lot of things for free. Yeah. You know, we perform at some of the pubs and clubs in Nigeria that are really hot for free. Yeah. You know, because we wanted to get into the space. Now, if you want to get into a space, you need to sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. You get me? Yes, there are few places, you have few people you have to pay, you know. You can't, of course, you can't go there empty-handed. And if you're doing music and you don't have anything, I, I, I honestly think you should stop doing it because everywhere you go, you have to pay people for their services. Mm. You know, yeah. even the relationship that you're talking about, Paco. I mean, there's going to be a time that you need me or you need something from me that you know yeah. very much that I will do for you without charging you too. Because yeah. then, what comes to play is butter. Oh, let me go to Paco because when Paco needs me tomorrow, I can also provide something for him. Yeah. You know, so it is always about a sacrifice. I mean, I pick up phone and call people, oh, do this for me. Can you please help me do this? Tomorrow I want to get something to, you know, I do the same. As an artist manager, I think one of your tricks should be you be very connected. Yeah. Because if you are connected, then it makes the work a bit easier. You understand? If you're not connected, you can give yourself time to build and get this connection. We didn't start today. We didn't just walk into, you know, everybody's home and everybody's phone it took us time to build a good connection build a good profile to get to where we are so yes you need money to get into nigeria but the most important thing is for you to get the mind you know and to be very 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 conscious and um what's the word 
uh, to be intentional about yeah, yeah. you wanting to break into the Nigerian market. Okay. You get me? But listen, the advice is don't just tell her from my. Looks like we have a technical hitch there. Probably might be a call on George's phone, but we'll definitely get him back on the line to wrap up this conversation. It's been an interesting one. Great. So, uh, I mean, like I stated earlier, you have to also amass the following. Uh, do a lot more work in your home country. You know, do more work in Accra, Ghana. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it makes it easier for you to build on in Nigeria because I don't think it make sense for you to walk into Nigerian space when you're not even known or you've not, you've not done so much work in Ghana. You yeah. understand? So that is that is basically what you're supposed to do. You build. It is not just about you blow up. You just woke up, record a song, and go into Nigeria. Listen, I mean, from what I know, there are about a million artists in only Lagos. <laughs> One million artists in Lagos. You know, so breaking through will not be easy. Yeah, there are a lot of artists. There are a lot of yeah, there are a lot of uh, artists in Nigeria who are just known in Nigeria. They are not known outside Nigeria. Yeah. You get me? There are some that are very popular in Lagos, but not elsewhere. So yeah. you, it's, 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 it's not a walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of work. So what, what happens is, when you're able to build yourself in Ghana, then a lot more attention is gained. That is when you walk into the offices of Boom Play. You know, then boom play connect you to the office in Nigeria. Yeah. That's what you walk into, you know. The the, the, the likes of Spotify, Apple Music guys connect with yeah. you. Then they connect you to Nigeria and all that. So the work actually starts from home. Like you said, charity begins at home. When that is done, uh, then you keep on moving, moving, moving. From Lagos, you look at the east, you look at, you know, the western part of the world and you move right i think i think you've said it all and anybody that wants to pick a lot of knowledge from this conversation i'm sure by now should know that it is not just walking to nigeria like that there are certain homework you need to do and do it very well so wrapping it up george what's up for you next what's up for camido let's know what's up uh yes uh we you know we had a deal we are looking for <laughs> we are looking to you know, and the deal with uh, the people that were involved. We are getting major deals coming up soon. And then, uh, uh, you know, getting major deals coming up soon. New music, new projects being wor worked on. You know, international collaborations and uh, partnerships are being created. Um, Paco, I think there's something that we need to, you know, also a little bit clear. I mean, anytime that okay. my name comes up and anytime, anytime my name comes up and again, uh, Nigeria comes in, people come and uh, sort of attack me or sort of they, yeah. they want me to come and uh, uh, come and defend myself because I once said we should play 80% music in Ghana, which which I still stand by. It. I still stand by it in the sense that I think Ghanaians in Ghana should enjoy more music made by their homegrown artists. Mm. Now, that doesn't mean that now, you know, I was preaching 80%. Uh, that means that there's an extra 20 for the rest of the world to take. Yeah. Just as in Nigeria, they will tell you 99% Niger. Now, because it is not 100%, that means that there's a little window for anyone who wants to promote his music or push himself in the space to get attention as well. Just as in Ghana. I mean, if we are playing a lot more Ghanaian songs, that doesn't mean that anytime you hear a Nigerian song or something from South Africa or elsewhere in the world, it is it is a no no. We didn't say hundred percent Ghanaian song. So definitely that twenty percent space there is given to people that force their way into our playlist. You get me? Uh so same way ninety percent in Nigeria or wherever it is, every, I think every industry is governed. You cannot just open for all. Even in the UK here, you need to be British to get you know, some sort of playlist and on both radio and you know, being in the general in the general space. So we still have to protect our space. Eighty percent Ghanaian music still should go on. We should still play more Ghanaian songs, Ghanaian music, Ghanaian content on our airwaves. You know, the hotels should be encouraged or should know that as part of the tourism, your music is you know is key. We play more Nigerian songs. Sorry, Ghanaian songs. So we play more Ghanaian songs in the hotels, 
on our TV, radio, just like you've been doing, you know, in the past. So let's play more Ghanaian songs and we can go into the Nigerian space and every space. One of you are very intentional about it. Get your marketing strategy right. Go into Nigeria, connect to the right people, do the uh, correct uh, collaborations you can do, find your way into the space. Nigerians will not reject you because you're Ghanaian. They will reject you when you don't do your things right. Just like Ghana will reject you. Listen, people will say, oh, you play Davido, Whiskey, Burner, and all these words. Yeah. This is because these guys have been able to work into our space. You know, there are lots of Nigerians in Ghana whose music are not known. They are still pushing their music. They are yeah. not known because yeah. Yeah. maybe they're not doing a lot of things right. So, and then again, you hear people say, oh, Nigerians don't play our music. They don't like us. No. Paco, I mean, go around Ghana and ask yourself, how many people play music from Sierra Leone? How many of us play music from Togo? How many of us play music from Liberia and all these places? Yeah. Why? Because these guys don't try to promote, <laughs> you know? We don't know their songs. So I cannot just get up and say, I am playing a song from Sierra Leone. Yeah. Now I can probably play a song from Brisley because I have been able to connect with Brisley from Liberia, uh, Sierra Leone, you know? So until that connections and, you know, promotional studies are activated, I wouldn't know any artist from, uh, uh, what is it called? Liberia or Central Africa, yeah. Kenya, all these places. Right. But if these people can actually mark, market themselves, now me in Ghana, what will I do? I'll have no choice but to play their music or to love them. So I'm not sure there's somebody out there who hates a Ghanaian or Ghanaian songs. It's just about we no get into the space. Now there are too many available tools or so, uh, resources to get into people's phone. Now because of the digital means, you cannot stop a song from entering into other space. No. You can you can be here in the UK and a song that is blowing up in Nigeria or Ghana or somewhere else in the space. So let us make use of the, dig the, the digital. Let's make sure let's make use of good connections with the people in the industry. You know, market ourselves and listen. Music music is business. So if you yeah. treat it as business, you get results. If you don't yeah. if you don't treat it as business, you will not get results. Yeah, you're very right. I mean. Um, we have people like Diamond and Harmonize song yeah. making waves yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. It is because they are pushing right. it right. They are putting it on the right channels on um, Trace Niger, Aquaba Maje, Jama, and all those channels. Very right. true. <laughs> right. What what I don't agree with when is when we go out there and go like you don't play Nigerian songs. I feel that is too harsh. That is not something we should yeah. be encouraging because one, we want our music to go outside our country to other countries. So then oh. if you are making mm -hmm. effort to stop people's music from entering your own, people will also stop your music Definitely. from getting into <laughs> their homes. <laughs> sure. So thank you so much Very for much. the enlightenment and I'm sure we'll do this again. Enjoy your stay there in Wembley, in London, in UK. Thank I you. to everybody there and then we the watch back give you well. <laughs> thank you, Paco. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your great support to the industry. Right. But you see, this one all will be like <laughs> everything be true. No fuck it is yeah. You be fact. No fuck it is my brother. And good enough. You see, yeah, so. let me let me tell let me tell you something interesting. People go like yeah. Nigerians don't allow our staffs into their homes. My channel is being hosted here Thank in Ghana, but the presence is more in Nigeria. The number of sure. viewership that I have from Nigeria is like almost about 80%. Uh, Ghana is just about 10% and all that. Which else, which says so much that when you have a focus, you have a market target and you push to that direction, mm -hmm. you definitely get the results. And so guys, if you want to push your stuff, just make the move. Just say a prayer and make a move. Boom. <laughs> Thank you, brother. We Thank definitely you, do that all again, right. my brother. All right, guys. So we'll be speaking to George Britton, the manager of Camido, all the way from London. I mean, he's given us so much stuff to think about and to talk about. So, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. My name is DJ Paco Rich, A.K. Mazi, A.K. Otumba. Yes, this is wisdom. The one way get here, make you hear up. I'm out of here. We'll definitely do this another time. Bye-bye.
DJ Paco Rich.